Hello from Source Point. This is the fifth mini mind aerobic session. My name is Joan Pierce. When programs resume, there will be two mind aerobics offerings on Fridays, one from 11 to noon and the other from 1 to 2 in the afternoon. I hope you can join us. It'll be so good to get back together. If you've missed the other mind aerobics that we've done so far to date, you can go to mysourcepoint.org slash online programs to find uh, more of the mini mind aerobics. I hope you've grabbed your paper and your pen and you're ready to go. Hope you're ready to think for the day. These will be some short mind challenges to keep you connected, thinking and smiling a bit too. Feel free to pause the video. So I move pretty fast. So if you need to think, just pause it and, and then resume as you are ready. So here we go. A mind once stretched by a new idea never regains its original dimensions. Thank you for life learning with me. Thank you for thinking with me. Prepare to be amazed by how awesome you are. We're going to begin with try bond. I will give you three clues. You figure out what the common link is. It could be a word, a color, a person, a thing. There are five questions in this segment. Question number one. Your clues are earth, book, inch. Your clues are earth, book, inch. Number two, your clues are onion, napkin, wedding. Your clues for number two for tribond are onion, napkin, wedding. Number three, eyes, E-Y-E-S, eggs, laundry. So your clues for number three are eyes, eggs, laundry. Number four, your three clues for tribond are electronic, fan, with an F, junk. So number four, electronic, fan, junk. And finally, number five, radio, car engine, piano. Number five, radio, car engine, and piano. I'm going to go over the answers, so if you need to pause, please do so. Let's go backwards. So you tune a radio, you tune a car engine, and you tune a piano. So this time it was something that you do, it's, it's a verb, to all of those answers for number five. So your answer was, those are things that you tune, T-U-N-E. Number four, electronic mail, fan mail, and junk mail. So your answer was M-A-I-L. Number three was a little more difficult. Eyes, eggs, and laundry. They all have whites, the whites of your eyes, egg whites, and you have whites in your laundry. Number two, onion ring, napkin ring, and wedding ring. So your answer for two is ring. Down to number one, we have earthworm, bookworm, and inchworm. So your answer for number one is worm. So I hope you got those all right, or at least you were thinking hard. Next section we're going into is problem solving. This involves using number answers to get to the next step. There are four parts to this question. After you write down your first answer, 
I will ask you to subtract or add the next line. After the fourth part of the question, I will give you some time or you can pause. Then I will go over this step by step. So good luck to you. So the first number you're going to write on your paper is the total number of wheels on a bicycle, tricycle, tandem bike, moped, and car. So you're adding up the total number of wheels on a bicycle, tricycle, tandem bike, moped, and car. If you need to pause, you may. I'm going to move on. From that number, you're going to subtract the number of inches in three-fourths of a foot minus the number of inches in three-fourths of a foot. To that number, you're going to add the total number of sides on a triangle, a pentagon, and a hexagon. From that number, you're going to subtract the number of legs on a healthy insect. So if you need to pause, you may at this point, but I'm going to move on with the correct answer. So the number of wheels on a bicycle is two, tricycles three, tandem is two, moped is two, and car is four. So you should have come up with the answer of 13. Three quarters of a foot is nine inches. So 13 minus nine equals four. To four, you added the number of sides on a triangle, which is three, a pentagon, which is five, and then a hexagon, which is six. So you have four plus 14 now for the answer of 18. And the last leg of this, you had how many legs of an insect? Should be six. So you had um, 18 minus 6 equals 12. In this next section, there are eight questions. All of your answers are going to begin with the letter I as in intelligent, because I know you are intelligent. Number one, your clue is elephant tusks. Elephant tusks. Number two, your clue is ice home. Ice home. Number three, colored part of the eye. Number three, colored part of the eye. Number four is small in. I-N-N. -N. Number five, to question in an aggressive manner. To question in an aggressive manner. Number six, to supply farmland with water to supply farmland with water. Number seven is type of African antelope or car. Number seven is type of African antelope or car. So I hope you got the answers to all of these questions and that begin with the letter I and I screwed up on number four so I, you probably caught that so let's go backwards type of African antelope or car is the Impala 
I M P A L A. Number six to supply farmland with water is irrigate. Number five to question in an aggressive manner is to interrogate. Number four, I should have said small hotel, which the answer is N I N N. Sorry about that. Number three, colored part of the eye is iris. Number two, ice home is igloo. Number one, elephant tusks, ivory. Joke for the day. I'm five feet tall and carry extra weight. My mother accompanied me to the ER after an auto accident. The nurse asked for my height and weight. I blurted out five foot eight, 125 pounds. While the nurse pondered this information and looked quite perplexed, my mother leaned over and whispered in my ear, this is not the internet. <laughs> a sign above a scale in the doctor's office says, pretend this is your IQ. I know some of us are stress eating during these quarantine times. In fact, I've seen a lot of jokes coming out now about daytime pajamas and nighttime pajamas. The question is, is what time do you change over those pajamas? On a note on a post office door, it says pull, P-U-L-L. -L. If that doesn't work, push. If that doesn't work, we are closed, come again. In this next section, all of your answers will begin with the letter J. So I hope you can get these J answers. Five questions. Number one, black robed referee. Black robed referee. Number two, horse rider skillful maneuver, underwear brand. So for number two, you're gonna have a J answer, so this is like tri-bond. Horse rider, skillful maneuver, underwear brand. Number three, their job is a real trial. Their job is a real trial. So you're going to have a J answer there again. Number four, box with bars. What is a box with bars called? For that one, you're going to have two words in your answer, the first one beginning with J. Finally, number five, Giant jet, giant jet. If you need to pause to go back to answer some of these questions, you may. I'm gonna start with number one to give the answers. Black robed referee is a judge. Number two, a jockey is a horse rider. A jockey could be a skillful maneuver. And there's an under brand, underwear brand called Jockey. Number three, jury. Their job is a real trial, jury. Number four, box with bars is a jail cell. And finally, number five, a giant jet might be called a jumbo jet. Weekly challenge from session four. And the spelling of the colors of the official rainbow, we can remember them by the acronym Roy G. Biv. And that's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So the first letter of those colors is remembered as Roy G. Biv. So the R is red, the O is orange, Y, yellow, G, green, B, blue, I, indigo, and V, violet. 
So if you counted up the total number of letters in all of those words or names of the colors of the rainbow, you should have gotten 36 letters. Your part two of your challenge last time was in the names of the Great Lakes. What's the total number of vowels in the names? There are 16 total vowels and all, all five vowels are used. How do you remember the names of the Great Lakes? We use the acronym HOMES, H-O-M-E-S. So the H is Huron, the O is Ontario, the M is Michigan, E is Erie, and the S is Superior. So hopefully you got the correct answer there. This week's challenge. Hmm. I want you to remember these words next time without writing them down. So your words are rain, Spain, plain, and yogurt. So those only four words, rain, Spain, plain, and yogurt. So this is how I would, one way to remember this, the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. So to remember those three words, and then plain can play off of plain yogurt. So please remember those words for our next mind aerobics. The quote for the week is, if you want to recall your memory, try to remember what you were worrying about one year ago today. Remember, we're all in this together. Be strong, stay safe, take time to do something you enjoy. Be well. Signing off from Source Point. Take good care. Mm -hmm.